Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas arrived at the Wellsworth Station where Percy and Toby were. Have you noticed something? asked Percy. About what? asked Thomas. About Sir Tubham Hat. I think something's up. Toby looked up in the sky. Where? Not up here. Down here, laughed Thomas. How could something be up when it's down? asked Toby. Thomas was too excited to explain. Bust my buffers, he cried. Look over there. Mavis, Daisy, Bill, Ben, Stanley, Donald, and Douglas all paraded past. Good evening, Gethany. Aren't we on a plain sight? Very smart indeed, replied Toby. Sorry we can't stop. Sir Topham Hatt wants us all at the station. What is this about? asked Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt must have had a plan, said his driver. Let's go. <whistles> and so the three engines puffed along to Tidbit's ship. No, no, no. <laughs> Silence! cried Sir Top of Hat. I have a very special letter from a little girl from far away on the mainland. Dear Thomas and all his friends, please may you come. I've heard about your wonderful adventures and want to see you for myself. My mom said you're too big for my house, but you but could you please come to the station instead? Thank you very much. It seems, Sister Tom, that we are very important and are invited to a party. That means we're going to the big city far away. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Beat the engines. Silence! cried Sir Tom. Other engines are going to be doing your job, so please tell them what to do. Da, 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 da. As Annie and Clara are going to the big station as well, Thomas and Oliver were practicing shunting coaches in the yard. Thomas grew more and more excited. Too excited for his own good. I'm glad I'm a special engine, he told Oliver. I had a race with Bertie once. I whoosh through the tunnel and stopped an inch from the buffer. Then Thomas made his mistake. Just like this, he boasted. And <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was hurt, but Thomas's front was badly bent. They telephoned Sir Topham Hatt. I'll send up the workman, he said. But if they can't fix Thomas in time, we're going to have to go to the big city without him. Poor Thomas. Eight o'clock next morning, everyone arrived just in time. Do be Toby and Duck, Toby and Percy were on two flatbeds. Edward and Duck pu were pulling and pushing them along. Henry, Gordon, and James were waiting patiently. They whistled. I'll wait one more minute for Thomas, and then we have to go, said Sir Thomas. Then Thomas arrived. <laughs> Thank goodness you're all here, said Thomas. I hope we're not late, as it's just over eight, replied the coaches. The guard blew his whistle, and the cattle puffed away. Look out, big city, here we come, replied the engines. And the cattle puffed away. <laughs> Soon all the engines were rounded up by a big turntable on the mainland. Children were glad to see them. I'm glad that little girl wrote a special letter said Thomas, and who'd have thought it would bring us all the way here? Isn't a special letter interesting when you get to know it? And Thomas learned this lesson not to show off while crashing through buffers. Thomas the tank engine! Do 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 do